What up? It's Drop from LetterDropMusic.com. So I had a session last night, and we uh, we ran into a verse that was pretty like a newer verse for this artist, and like maybe had some tongue twisters in it. And this is definitely a situation that I've ran into uh, time and time again with with different artists. And I wanted to share some you know tips on what you could do to try to like overcome you know those tough verses especially when you're in that booth and you're paying for that time and you just want to get it done so number one tip is to practice like crazy beforehand if you have that opportunity and you wrote that verse beforehand and you know you're going to the studio make sure you memorize those verses make sure that you have that in your head you know as as much as possible a good way to do that is to go ahead and just record yourself on like say a phone or anything anything that can record your vo your voice and you can play it back to yourself do that it doesn't matter the quality it doesn't even matter if you have the beat behind you uh, but it would be preferable if you could have the beat in the background somehow but even if you could just hear your words and your rhythm you know in your ear that's going to make you memorize it a lot faster especially while you're thinking about it reading it listening to it you're going to memorize it and you want to do those things they're going to help Second tip is to practice out loud. Even if you're in the booth and you just wrote that verse, you know sometimes you pause and you want to go over your track, you know what I mean? And you got the beat waiting and, and the engineer is waiting for you to record. Don't just practice in your head or practice quiet. I, I find a lot of artists do that. They'll be loud and they'll be performing on the mic when we're recording, but when we stop and they're practicing, they'll be kind of whispering it and you know what I mean? They'll be like doing it in their head. It's important to practice it out loud. It's a tongue twister. So you need to be moving your tongue. You need to be performing it. You know what I mean? That's how you're going to get the full effect of how exactly you're supposed to be doing it. You know, and how exactly it's going to feel when you're performing it correctly. So it's really, 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 really important to practice out loud uh, whenever possible. Um, so write your stuff down, record it, practice it over and over, practice it out loud over and over. Um, and then when you're actually recording it, what I find a lot of people will do is they'll go from, you know, the first bar, they'll start, then they'll get to that tongue twister, they'll kind of mess up, uh, 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 and then they'll say, okay, bring me back from the top. And then they'll go from the top, and then they'll get to that mess up again, and it's like a, a loop. We keep going back and forth, you know, getting to that same mistake, and then finally, you know, maybe like 10, 15 takes later, they'll get past that mistake. And then what happens is you'll find that, you know, because of the flow, usually you'll have similar similar types of flows during the whole verse, you know what I mean? So this tongue twister sometimes will come up again, or maybe you'll have a different variation that's also a tongue twister, and, you know, you're going to run into, a, you know, usually you, we run into another obstacle with that verse. So we'll run into that boom, that first obstacle, 20 takes later, we'll get past it, and then we get into that second obstacle, and then the artist will mess up again, and it's okay to just you know, go past those mistakes. In fact, I, re I recommend it. You know, most artists that I work with, they'll say, let's just start it from the top. Let's just start it from the top. Um, but myself, I would say, you know, I, I tell them, don't let the mistake affect you at all. Go ahead and just blow right past it. Make the mistake as good as possible. Make it sound as good as possible as you can and then keep the performance going because you want to run into all those obstacles at once. And then that way with each take, Instead of just getting that first obstacle really good and finally you master it, you're getting all those obstacles leveled up and you're getting better at all of those different tongue twisters in the verse at the same time. So if you're that type of rapper that really hates to punch in and you want to do it from the beginning and you don't have that time to practice, blow past those mistakes and try to get the best performance down. And then that way, by the 15th, 20th take, not only have you practiced that first tongue twister, but you practiced all of them, and you can hopefully nail that whole verse down at once. Um, now, to go off of that, don't be afraid to punch in. I mean, if you are that type of person that likes to do it from the top, I mean, I definitely rec respect that. But if you have even a halfway good engineer, even a halfway, you know, you know, couple weeks on the job engineer, they, they should be able to punch you in. I mean, it's a really, really easy thing to do. And while you're in the studio, yeah, you're conscious of it. And you're like, oh, man, I punched in. It's not really a full take. But think about the performance. The quality over the performance is what you want. Now, there is some times where spinning it from beginning to end is going to be a better option. But I would say for the most part, especially with songs, you know, when you're really making a song with a, especially a chorus, 
you know, it, it's more about the quality and the perfection of the song and the whole thing coming together to really tell the story of the whole song and, and create that feeling. So it's not necessarily about the skill and the performance of beginning to end and getting all your breaths right. It's really about making sure each of those words are heard correctly and are properly pronounced and that the whole vibe is there. And if you do a, if you do something 20 times and then you got to do the second verse another 20 times, I mean, you're just going to kill the vibe and it's okay to punch. Once you got that thing punched in and it's all squeezed in there and mixed down, guaranteed when you're listening to that mix, you're not even going to think, oh yeah, I punched it in at exactly this bar at this word. And we took that one word out and you're not even going to be thinking that stuff because you're going to be so caught up in the vibe and the, and the sound of the song that it's not even going to matter. So don't be afraid to punch in, please. I mean, it's not, uh, uh, you know, you're not giving up, you're not quitting, you're just using one of your tools to make sure that, you, that your song comes out as good as it, it can be. So, you know, choo choose your weapons wisely. I mean, there, there's those times where, yeah, you just want to run through the verse, run through those mistakes, don't stop at them, and keep going through all of them over and over. There's going to be those times where you can't practice. There's going to be those times where you don't want to kill the vibe, so... You know, make sure you use all those things uh, appropriately. So really quick, the tips are go ahead and practice like crazy. Practice out loud. Record yourself so you can hear yourself back. Don't stop at the mistakes. Keep going. If you make a mistake, keep going until the end of the verse. So that way you can find all the mistakes and improve them all at once. And then also don't be afraid to punch in. Uh, and I think that would help you a lot. If you're ever stuck in that position where you're paying for that time, trying to get that verse uh, recorded, those have been my tips to, to really get the, the best best performance. And I really hope that helped. Definitely let me know if it did or didn't down below. Leave me a comment. Send me a message at drop at letitdropmusic.com. I definitely appreciate anyone hitting me up, questions, feedback, stuff like that on these videos. And we'll keep moving forward from there. All right, peace.